poverty, unemployment, and inequality remain the most pressing challenges facing South Africa. Our society is confronted by lawlessness, by crime and corruption, gender-based violence and femicide, hunger and malnutrition, The HIV AIDS pandemic has been given less and less attention during this COVID pandemic, and we are seeing the numbers of infections continuing to grow, and it is the civil society that has always been in the forefront of the fight against the spread of HIV that must once again take this fight up so that we do not see HIV growing in an uncontrollable way, the infections thereof. But over the past few days, we have witnessed some of the serious challenges that our country faces, scenes of violent protest. We've seen damage to public infrastructure. And in some cases, we have also seen the loss of life in areas such as Kajiso in the West Rand, Krugersdorp, and Tembisa in Ekuruleni. Now, these incidents of, are of grave concern, but they also highlight many of the challenges that our country is facing. As we address these incidents, we need to distinguish between legitimate protests and criminality because unless we distinguish between the two we are going to lose what needs to be done and how it needs to be done yes there are community concerns and grievances that need to be addressed concerns that we should all have to prevent loss of life destruction to property. This today we also saw mob justice being played out. Our people because of their anger going out to confront a number of people and there being mob justice. And we cannot as South Africans reach a level where we just resort to mob justice. We need to be dealing with the problems that we have, working together as communities, working together with our law enforcement agencies. We can all understand the public outrage in Kajiso that was sparked by the gang rape of eight young women last week, and we all deeply and sincerely share in the pain of those young women their families, as well as the neighboring communities around Kajiso. Police, as we speak now, are hard at work, and a number of people have already been in, arrested, and they are investigating fully exactly how that whole incident occurred. As, and we must commend our police for apprehending suspected illegal minors and shutting down their operations. And this we applaud the police for. They are doing the best that they can. And we must support them in the various things that they get involved in as police because quite often they also put themselves in the line of danger and they put their lives on the line as they seek to protect our communities. Now, they are trying their very best, and I think we must applaud them for that. Now, the efforts that they are making to catch those responsible for this heinous crime of uh, gang raping these young women is something that we would like to ensure that as we give them the support, we encourage them to do more. Because there are quite a number of other communities 
around the country where illegal mining has been taking place, where the Zamazamas have been active. And all I can say is that the Commissioner of Police, together with the Minister, have set up teams that are going to deal with this issue of illegal mining and deal with those Zamazamas in the very illegal activities that they get involved in, particularly in terrorizing our communities. We will put this to an end, and we will do it as effectively as possible.